This will be part two on our videos that describes the admin screen. In this one, we're going to talk about the reports. To get to the reports, you simply click on the reports button. The reports that are available are shown in this big list here. I should probably start off by just demonstrating what a report looks like. So let's do the 500 report. I'm going to display it. And here it is on the screen. This report can be printed. A report can also be run if you know the number by typing that in right here and displaying the report. So here you are. Unlike the forms, which can be generated by a client, the reports at this moment are only able to be generated by Carousel. The reports are all done in computer code. That code handles the font size. It handles the orientation of the paper. It handles what is printed and where. Someday, I hope to be able to incorporate into Carousel something called a report builder, which is a piece of software that does let anybody generate reports from a database. Actually, you can do that yourself right now, but it costs a hell of a lot of money. So what I'm going to show you in this video are the things you can manipulate. When Carousel builds a report, Generally speaking, Carousel will install the report on your system. It is quite possible for you to install it yourself, but this doesn't happen that often, and you might as well let us worry about it. When you go to print the report, there are two things that you can control. One is you can ask the printer to print it duplex, which is to say printing on both sides of the printer. The printer itself has to have the mechanics to allow that to happen, but most new printers do. The second thing is you can ask the printout to be double spaced if you check this box. But you'll notice down here there's a bunch of new functions. These are actually similar to functions that were in the root of the old program, but I've changed them around. This one here allows you to change the width of the form. This is useful for reports that are wide. So if I take a look at the 600 report, which is the management inventory report, it used to be that it got cut off right about this point. Now you can see all the rest of it. We can also make the report higher. Click this button and then run the report. You'll see that you can see further down. And if you don't like the font size there, we can make the fonts bigger. So let's change the font size to 12. Run the report again. Display the report. So now the fonts are bigger. Note that that only applies to the display. The printed report will still be the original font that was defined for that report. I want to go back to the display of the reports. There's a couple more things that I want to talk about there. Up here on this first line, you can see the last time that the report list was updated. The reports all have numbers. You can see there's a 100, a 300, and so on. The first digit is important. The first digit gives you an idea of what the report is about. The 100 reports are for Carousel and its billing. 300 and 400 are for net profit reports. 500 and 600 are inventory reports. 700 are salesman reports. 800 are customer reports. 900 and 1,000 are tax reports. 1,100 generate spreadsheets. We'll talk about that again in a minute. 1,200 is warranty and gap. In oriented and 1300 is re reconditioning oriented. Carousel currently has about 130 reports already generated and we can generate more on request depending on the request. But not all these reports have to be displayed in this window. 
if we go to the tables tab and bring up admin reports you'll see a list of all the reports that exist this is the name of the reports this column here would allow you to change the name on the display to something personal for you but here in this column here if there's a one then the report will display but if there's a zero it will not what I ask all my clients to do is after they've been running the system for a few months go through and decide what reports you want to see and, and get rid of the displaying of all the rest of them so far as I know nobody's ever done that going back to the reports themselves as I said before the 1100 series are spreadsheet generators I can generate spreadsheets in all kinds of different ways these spreadsheets can be imported into Excel or, or OpenOffice or probably any other kind of spreadsheet. When you generate a spreadsheet, let's just select 1101 cars and inventory, you'll get this little thing pop up here because spreadsheets potentially have an awful lot of data. So this top one will show how much data is going to be generated and the bottom one shows where we are in the generation. So I'm going to display the report. In this case, it happened awful quick. And this report is not the spreadsheet. This report is just to show you a little bit, a synopsis, if you will, of what actually gets generated. The real spreadsheet is almost always in C colon temp. And it's almost always named spreadsheet. If I bring up the file manager and we go to the temp folder, you'll see up here there are two files that have been generated just a couple of minutes ago. Trust me, this was just a couple of minutes ago. One has a .dsv file type and the other has a .txt file type. The files are identical. I in fact generate the txt and then copy it as a CSV. Different spreadsheet programs like Excel want to import different, uh, different types of data. And so you're going to have to play with yours to decide whether it wants to import a CSV or a TXT. If I look at the TXT file, you'll see it's got pretty much the data for our inventory all compressed. However, when you bring this actually into a spreadsheet, in my case here I'm using LibreOffice because I can't afford to, to buy Excel, I'm going to import the spreadsheet.csv and you can see I'm asking it to be tab delimited or comma delimited say OK and there's all of our data in a spreadsheet format there is one report that Washington dealers should be especially aware of and that's the Washington tax report if we click on report 900 for some month and display it. You'll see a list of all the cars sold for that month. And then down here, you'll see a whole bunch of funny information, but this is the information that has to go on your sales tax and BNO report. Pretty much it's everything that I have that you will need. Uh, I've tried to identify the columns and things of where you would put all this stuff. It's been vetted by several CPAs. I've tried to keep it up to date as laws change. Um, so it would save you an awful lot of work or your accountant an awful lot of work if you at least take a look at this report rather than having to go through all of the individual deal folders by hand. Each one of these reports requests different kinds of data so that it knows what to do the report on. Sometimes it's a date range, sometimes it's a month, specific month. Here you can see all the different possibilities. This, as I said before, shows you the progress. You can ask for a year, a month, how many months, start date, end date, sorted by we could talk about that in a minute location it is possible for you to identify a car by its location code which could be where it is who owns it any kind of a different thing 
a lot of these reports then can be filtered by location code. So as an example of the sorting, we're back to our 600 report, and by default, it's going to be sorted by the date it was purchased. However, I can sort it by all of these different kinds of things. I can sort it by the year, so we're now sorting by the year. Sort it by the stock number, so now sorting it by this. There is a way to change the default sort. That would be found in the defaults screen, which we're going to talk about in a future video. This reports function and the utilities functions are probably going to be the only things that a client would use. The other two screens that I'm going to talk about, which are the tables and the defaults, Generally speaking, Carousel will either change them for you or give you detailed directions on what to change and how to change it. The next screen in the list will be the defaults.